For better or worse, many people only understand artificial intelligence as it is represented in popular culture, and often those representations are inaccurate. What is AI really? The artificial part of AI is fairly straightforward. It refers to something human-made that doesn't independently exist in nature. Intelligence is harder to define. It could mean an exceptionally efficient, capable computer, or a program that can understand what makes a joke funny and then write its own jokes. It could mean a computer that can play Jeopardy alongside human competitors. So it's more what AI can't do that defines its present state of intelligence. How are people using AI right now? It is being used in healthcare to help detect disease, in meteorology to more accurately predict the weather, in warfare to make autonomous weapons systems. AI can identify your face in photos and estimate your age, emotions, or even your creditworthiness. Essentially, AI perceives its environment and then uses that data to take actions that maximize its chances of achieving its goals, learning and adapting as it goes. As AI is quietly being integrated into our lives, it's useful to understand how it works and what comes next. One way to identify different types of AI is based on the way that AI functions in the world. When it's diagnosing disease, IBM's Watson computer operates very differently from Siri or Alexa. And the AI that Facebook or other companies use for facial recognition is yet another type of AI. Narrow AI is the type of AI system that can perform a single task in real time, like playing chess. The information that it uses to do that task is limited to a specific data set, like all the possible moves in a chess game. This type of AI can't perform outside of the single task that it is designed for. Artificial general intelligence is also known as strong AI. This form of intelligence would be able to tackle multiple complex problems without guidance or training, ultimately being able to think and reason as well as a human being. Beyond this milestone is something even more mind-blowing, artificial superintelligence. The idea is that once AI achieves general intelligence, it would have all the tools it needs to make itself smarter. This AI self-improvement could result in an exponential explosion of intelligence some called the singularity, where the AI quickly grows to surpass the combined minds of all of humanity and beyond. Some say this technological singularity could happen as soon as 2045, a future as mind-boggling and unknowable as the singularity's namesake. Learn more about the future of AI at futureoftech.org.